today. The uh, women's single. And uh, features uh, the former world champion, Rachina Gintanen, who won the uh, world title back in uh, 2013. And uh, the last two years winner here in uh, Mulheim, Akani Yamaguchi. Here is the uh, race to uh, Guangzhou standings. As you can see, Rachinak is uh, fourth on that list and she will move up to uh, number one, no matter how the result is today. Akani Yamaguchi is uh, placed as uh, 27th, still only four events played so far out of the uh, 26 to come. Here is uh, the women's single draw. Rachinak uh, Intenan defeated Osomi Okuhara, the top seed in the semi final. If you were with us yesterday, you would have seen that match. And uh, Akani Yamaguchi defeated uh, Gojin Wei, a player that she lost to in um, Malaysia Open earlier in uh, January. Here is um, Rachina Gintanon making her way onto the court. The defending champion of the Youngest German Open from Japan, Akana Yamaguchi. Here is uh, Akana Yamaguchi. Won the final here in uh, 2017 without uh, playing a shot as uh, Carolina Marin had to uh, give uh, walk over. But um, Last year, she was back, won, winning the final again, beating uh, Chenu Fei on uh, that occasion. So she's trying to make it uh, three consecutive. That would be the uh, first time since the early 70s that would uh, happen here in uh, German Open. That was a, a Swedish player, Eva Twitba, who won it from uh, 91 to 93. See, uh, Yamaguchi leads the head-to-head, uh, 11-9, -head, but it's uh, Rachinak Intenan who won their last encounter in uh, Hong Kong Open. She will always take red, Akane Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi takes the uh, other side of the court. I think at least she will always take red because uh, her name, Akane, means um, deep red in um, Japanese. She was named from uh, the color of the sunset. Here is um, Rajina Gintanan. I don't know if you can call a 24-year-old a veteran, but uh, she played so well at uh, such an early age, won the uh, World Championships as an 18-year-old back in uh, 2013, became the youngest ever uh, women's singles world champion, defeated um, Li Shu Rui in uh, Guangzhou at uh, that time. Here is uh, her road to the final. Chen Xiaoxin had to retire in the first round, but uh, apart from that, she's been um, convincing. Played um, really well yesterday against um, Otsumi Okuhara, who made a little bit too many uh, mistakes. She made way too many mistakes, actually. But that was also um, because uh, Rachina Ginsenan put uh, pressure on her. Here is uh, Kani Yamaguchi, 156 centimeters of height. That's uh, almost the same as uh, Okuhara, whom Intenon played uh, yesterday. She's from uh, Katsuyama in the uh, Fukui Prefecture on Honshu, the biggest uh, of the four main islands in Japan. She 
She's ranked five in the world uh, at the moment. Yamaguchi, she um, was as high as number one two weeks in April 2018. Uh, had a really good um, year in uh, 2018. Bronze medals at the, the World Championships and uh, the Asian Games, lost on both occasions to uh, PV Sindhu. Here's Petra Schönborn, our umpire. And uh, our service judge, Ivian Manolov. But more important for Yamaguchi, she was part of the uh, team who won the uh, Uber Cup, the women's team championship. That was one of her goals with her career. She saw the men win in 2014 and thought that looked um, enjoyable, so she wanted to try that. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ratchanok Intanam, Thailand. Yamaguchi Akane, Japan. <laughs> so we got the uh, women's singles underway. Last year, Yamaguchi also won the French Super 750. Two. Was the runner, but um, all England lost that final to Tai Su Ying. Rajinak only um, won one World Tour tournament last year. That was the very first Malaysia Masters. She defended her title earlier this year and looks to be in uh, great shape. How did she get that pack, Yamaguchi? And almost the next one as well on the back court. Amazing she got that back. It was out of the picture, we couldn't see it. Up. Deceptive, twisting uh, the grip as she uh, returns that shot there. Fantastic retrieval skills from uh, Yamaguchi. I think it's important that uh, Yamaguchi can put uh, Rachina Gintana a little bit under pressure because um, from what we saw yesterday, the, um, the shots are quite accurate as we see here. Nothing wrong with that, but um, the pace of the match, I, I still think that um, 
if um, Yamaguchi can uh, take the command in the rallies and, um, and increase the pace a little bit, then she might um, be able to trouble uh, Rachinak. But if it's Rachinak conducting the shots, um, being on top of the rallies, then it is becoming difficult for um, Akane Yamaguchi. on that one as well. That's well played. That's well played by Akane Yamaguchi. The slice drop shot. Is there from Korea, both uh, Choi Sung Bo and um, Park Joo Bong, but they're coaching Japan, of course. Park, the uh, head coach. Choi, uh, the women's singles coach. as well. Great rally, best rally of the match. Oh, a fantastic save by Rachinak. Just a reflex. I don't think she expected to uh, hit that one, but uh, that amazing shot. Uh, sees her take a. Uh, Four-point lead here at the uh, first mid-game interval. 35, 34 shots was that rally. Look at this. Well, 
Tinak's uh, long-time coach, Patsapan Gansrisuk. So, ready to um, resume play. Yeah, tight spinning net shot from uh, Yamaguchi. And if we uh, take away that um, fantastic defense, Maybe a little bit lucky defense that um, Rachinak had from uh, on 10-7. Um, then I think um, it's been Yamaguchi who's played better the last four or five rallies. Seems like she's about to work her way into this match. Good deception. <laughs> She's used to those kind of dives, that kind of Yamaguchi. Perfect placement. Days in. Total misjudgment by uh, Yamaguchi. It wasn't even close to the line. Uh, it was close to the line, but it wasn't touching the line. Fantastic touch. So difficult to um, gauge how much power you need to apply from the position a bit away from the net. Strings gone in uh, Rachinak's racket there.
time she didn't get the length correct on that um, spinning that shot. Excellent play. Good attack by uh, Rachina. She was, she was careful. Yamaguchi. It wasn't much before she would have gotten it back. Watching it. Wow, they're playing so sharp at the net. These two women. Both former world junior champions. Rachinuk three times, Yamaguchi twice. So they could have won more. Eight they just chose to 40. focus on uh, senior badminton early. Did it a little bit. Another tight spinning that shot. Really going for the control, both players at the net. Most players find it a little bit more easy to spin tight in the backhand side. <laughs> and that error from uh, the racket of uh, Akane Yamaguchi sets up uh, five game yeah, points yeah. for Rachina Kintanen. She hit her elbow. I think she did. Okay. Stays on um, the Japanese side and uh, Rachinek Intanen strikes first here in the women's singles final. Takes the first game.
it might do since it's the left arm there so um, otherwise you would not want to play with uh, such a bandage on Here is where she hit, hit the elbow. Yeah, I think it was the racket. So, ready for the second game. So now it's uh, Yamaguchi who plays against the drift, and uh, immediately we see difficulties in uh, getting the correct length on uh, the lift from uh, Rachina Gintanan. Of course, now uh, Yamaguchi knows that it's a bit more difficult for Rachina to play the uh, backcourt with accuracy, so she can afford to uh, stay a little bit closer to the net. The defending champion, that's going wide. in. It's almost like you can see there at uh, four nil down, Ratchin Accessors of okay. Okay, yeah, with the drift. Now, let's go. And uh, she's sort of like regrouping mentally. Jump smash. Oh, he's what a fantastic play. There was the jump smash second smash of the rally and um, they gained so much respect that there was room for a um, disguised drop shot Nice for Yamaguchi with these easy points here. So important to uh, keep Rachinag at a distance because she definitely has the skills to play um, an attacking game like we saw here. So 
So if she um, is within two, three points when uh, this second game comes to a close, then um, she's really, really dangerous. Sophia Maguchi, she must keep a certain amount of pressure on uh, her opponent without committing any uh, easy mistakes so that she can get points like this. is really, really uh, sharp, Rajnak. Really uh, playing it close to the lines. So, healthy lead for Yamaguchi. Rachnak trying to find the uh, back line, but um, that hasn't been easy for her in this um, second game. Yamaguchi up at the mid game interval, 11-4. of style, in my opinion, from uh, Ratchanak to play this uh, far side of the court. It's not like she's uh, sort of being patient in her playing style or not playing offensive. It's just more like we've seen here. That's what it takes. It's gone long because if you only um, if you only have say 90. 80-90% control of the rally. Then um, Yamaguchi is so good at uh, getting a lot of the shots back, back with interest. So um, you end up a little bit out of balance. And when you're out of balance, it's difficult to um, control the shots to the back, back court. And I'm pretty certain that uh, Rachina is giving it some thought whether to uh, leave this second game and uh, save some energy for a decider because she's going to play that um, far side of the court again, in my opinion, to um, win this tournament. Four. 
We saw Yamaguchi deliberately choosing to start on the far side of the court so that in the event of a third game, she would have the advantage of finishing here on the side where it's easier to be accurate with the shots to the uh, back line. Touch the net court. Yeah, that's well played. And that's where I feel there are some possibilities um, in terms of playing Ratchanak. If you can get to attack her, get to get her moving from a defensive uh, position to another defensive position. I'm not sure how strong she is at the moment then. Hey. a little short there and immediately punished by Rachina. Now she's got to regroup um, Yamaguchi. She missed that um, sitter towards a totally open court at 15-5, um, 15-6. Yeah, that's a totally off. Last year at the uh, World Championship semi-final, we saw her make perhaps the worst service that I've ever seen at that level. And she from the left field trying to serve to the other left field, but instead put it to the left of herself in the right field. Sometimes uh, the thoughts are moving ahead. This one is wide though. That was actually really important because five points at 10.15, if that had been in, wouldn't have been impossible for Ratchinak. That's better from uh, Yamaguchi. that position you have absolutely no idea where Ratchinak is uh, putting it. Go to all spots on the court. Fifteen five. I was totally certain that um, we were being treated to a decider here, but um, no, I'm not so certain anymore.
Oy. Amazing control. What a beautiful shot. Well, Just above the floor with a little deception because her arm has the speed as if she's going to lift it. Costly. Each of those mistakes takes us closer to a um, deciding game. Fantastic drop shot again. me of um, former world champion from Denmark, Camilla Martin. That was her favorite signature shot, that um, this guy's drop shot from her backhand side. 20 years ago when she won the title in Copenhagen. that you couldn't afford to uh, to make Rajanak at least in terms of this second game. Excellent shot. Suddenly picks up uh, pace. Yamaguchi. Six game points for the defending champion. I'm asking Akane Yamaguchi levels the score. Last point of um, the second game here. of the score so far. First game to Ratchina Gintanen, 21-16. Yamaguchi took the second, 21-14. Thank you. 
Viele was dazu ja. Viel Spaß und Spaß. Final game. So, one game to uh, decide the winner of uh, the women's singles. It's in the first title here in Germany for Ratchinok, or a third consecutive for uh, Akane Yamaguchi. Fantastic save. Deception on that one. She gets that as well. Right, she loses a step. There. Yeah. But um, it always adds a little to your sort of psychological bank account that you're able to uh, get to it. Mental pressure to uh, the opponent. I think in order to uh, win this, from Yamaguchi's perspective, she needs to lead when the two players change ends, in my opinion. I don't think she can be satisfied with a uh, little deficit, one or two points, because I think it's a different Ratchin against her we're going to see in um, the deciding phase of this match when she plays the far side of the court. Good clear. It's a fantastic rally. Oh, yeah, she missed it. She missed it wide. Ratchinak is asking what the uh, verdict was because if it wasn't wide, then she was going to challenge it. Three, one. Okay. It's the longest rally so far. 36 shots. Clearly missed it wide. Yamaguchi. Excellent. Great attack. Drift really well, uh, Akane Yamaguchi. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he tried. An amazing shot, but um, this time unsuccessful. Ratchina Gintinan. Good 
great pace at the moment. She's playing in um, Yamaguchi. pressure with her shot making skills uh, Rachina Gintanan because at the moment Yamaguchi is moving really really fast on her feet Rachina could become the first player from Thailand to win the women's singles here in German Open if she wins this third game. Excellent uh, spinning net shot from Yamaguchi. The only other players from Thailand who's won here is uh, in men's doubles. That was back in 1987. That was uh, Shansi Orasmi and uh, Tongsari. Won the men's doubles title back then. Eight, four. Looks difficult at uh, the moment, though. This, uh, Yamaguchi is showing magnificent form. Deserved applause from uh, the audience here in uh, Inogi Halle. Fantastic uh, women's singles final we're witnessing here. Got that back, fantastic net play from both players, but uh, how did Ratchana Gintanan get that one back? That was amazing. Ah, okay. It actually uh, spun a little bit longer away from the net than you uh, can see from up here. on that uh, backhand with uh, Rachinak if I were Yamaguchi but uh, it's not so easy to get it over there there it is uh, 
beautiful looking shot. But, um, it's gone wide. I don't know if you noticed, but um, Yamaguchi was expecting a deception. It was like she absorbed it in the legs, didn't move in any direction before the shot was launched from incident. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, she almost got it while falling backwards. Uh, Akane Yamaguchi. So there's only going to be one point in it at the change events. And it's going to be Ratchanak Intanon with the one point advantage, or at least it looks like it as. Um, Yamaguchi challenges the call. So we'll just have uh, Hawkeye to uh, give us the verdict. It was indeed long. And uh, Ratchanak Intanon, one point ahead here at the uh, change events in the uh, third and decisive game. Jubong was that satisfied with the 8-4 um, lead for Yamaguchi that um, disappeared in, in no time. Archana won the last nine rallies, 7-2. So, excellent smash by um, Yamaguchi, but um, how will Ratchanak be able to cope with the drift here in the um, later stage of the third game? That is going to be so interesting to see. Dressing 
session going on here. It's amazing what skills you need to have as a coach. Service return, lots of pace in it. We will see Rachna try and play more of these uh, fast paced shots in order to uh, force a weaker reply from Yamaguchi. Good answer to that. And the coaches agree, played downwards. It's gone long. No, nope. stays in. So important for Rachinok that she finally was successful in uh, playing the backcourt. Fantastic net game from both players. Rachinak wishing that her arm was four meters long. Amazing badminton we're being uh, treated to here in uh, Mulheim. Smash. Pretty much the only area of the court where it makes sense for her to to jump smash. was anticipating that shot to her forehand side. Still being alert to pressure on the backcourt, though. You can see it, that she's really, really focused on uh, what the plan is from Yamaguchi's side. Stayed on uh, 
the Japanese side. And a little sh sign of emotions there with um, Yamaguchi. I, I felt I, I saw something similar at 8 4. She felt she should have made that one. I'm very curious to see how she plays the next couple of rallies. I think Internet has a great chance now. So much for that theory. Great bounce back. And that's well placed. Clearly about getting the attack, the initiative. What a reply to that missed um, spinning net shot from uh, Akane Yamaguchi. Three straight points. gone long it's match point opportunities to uh, the defending champion the champion from both 2017 and 2018 amazing play here in the third and deciding game oh. <laughs> Talk about margins in sports. A little extra angle on that one, and uh, Yamaguchi would have been the champion. Still one match point. that shot again. And it's all square. Two match points for Yamaguchi and two shots from Internan who uh, touches the top of the net court. This time it's uh, Ratchanak with the uh, error on the uh, tight spinning net shot. Third opportunity for Yamaguchi. Can she flick with that uh, backhand there? Can she make a flick backhand serve? She's not going to. Survives another Ratchanak into none. No one really wants to um, play a high lift. Now 
minutes. Match point, Rachinek Intenon. Fantastic defense, absolutely magnificent defense from uh, Akane Yamaguchi. Too much height, uh, Rachina Gintanan, and uh, immediately Yamaguchi was there. in uh, deep, deep trouble there, Rachina Gintanan. Did she break a string? Over Amazing effort to uh, get that defense back. about finding the winning racket right now. Amazing badminton we witnessed over the last hour and seven minutes. Did something happen to uh, Service over. Or is she just waiting for the mobbers to come on? She's okay. Defense. Oh, fantastic match. I don't believe it. And it stays in. Akane Yamaguchi with the most fantastic rally of the match. Amazing saves and diving defenses. It all ends up with her third consecutive victory here in Germany and one of the rare smiles from uh, Akane Yamaguchi, the 21-year-old. Bowing to uh, the audience here. What a performance these two players gave us.
a match that had absolutely everything. Absolutely amazing uh, women's single. Here is the final rally. It's definitely worth watching. Look at that defense. Extreme quality. And then the next save by Rachina. Diving for the drop shot and it's exactly on the line. What an amazing rally. Two dives in a row. That was enough to <laughs> seal the title. Looking back at the coaches, was that what you meant, guys? That's how I do it. That also means that... Um, Japan has... Uh, taking the second title of the day here as we get confirmation of the score. First game to Rachinak 21-16 and then bounced back by Akane Yamaguchi 21-14 and 25-23 in the decider. German Open 2019. Nice here. Single. Coming up. What a fantastic match. Runners up. Second place from Thailand. Please make some noise for Rachanok Itanon. Yeah. What a fantastic match it was. And she could just as uh, well have uh, taken the title. Rachina Gintanon held one match point. The medals are given by Mr. Tsukuomo Ben Yoneyama, Chairman Yonex Company Limited. And now. The winner of the Yonex German Open 2019 and still champion women's single. Please make some noise from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi! So for the third consecutive year, Akane Yamaguchi is the champion here in uh, Mulheim. No one has done that since 1973 when uh, Eva Twitberg won it three times. The trophy is given by Wilfried Kleven, chairman from Mülheimer Sportfonds. He represents the Meyer of Mülheim an der Ruhr. Also Finnstadt Mülheim, gestern war er der Oberbürgermeister da. Only has she won it for the third consecutive time. She's also made sure that uh, Japan is going to sweep the singles in this tournament. And, um, it has only happened three times in uh, the short history of the uh, EWF World Tour. Japan did it in uh, Thailand last year, China in uh, Australia and Denmark last week in uh, Spain. So, after this fantastic match, uh, we're getting ready for women's doubles, where Chinese youngsters Du Wen Li is up against the Olympic champions from Japan. That's Tomo and Takahashi. We'll be back after a little break.